Hi everyone, and welcome once again to Cooking with Trixie. Before we start cooking today, I'm gonna to need you to wear an outfit that is cooking appropriate. This is not official chef wear, but it is better than chef wear. Perfect for wearing around the house. It's perfect for eating a lot because there's a lot of room to stretch and grow. I feel like I could punch somebody, you know, take somebody out if I had to, yet still it's a breathable fabric. It also has a little pocket right here. You know, it's, um, it's different than nature's pocket, but it's still a very natural pocket. And I like it very much. As I lean forward, I'm realizing I should lift my boobs up. So I'm gonna do that right now. Excellent job. Okay, now we're ready to cook. I've been watching YouTube and one thing I thought was very interesting was making butter. Making your own butter is so easy because all you need is one ingredient. And I'm like, I can't do that. A little bit of history. Did you know it's actually started in the Middle Ages, uh, the Dark Ages. In fact, it started when dinosaurs were roaming the earth and they couldn't figure out ways to keep their milk products from spoiling. They would take these giant barrels and they pour in a bunch of milk from a cow or a goat or a whatever animal, monkeys, I don't know, I wasn't there. And then they would churn it. Since then, with the Industrial Revolution and all this other magic, they've created butter churns. But we are gonna go back to that prehistoric style to get that authentic, and beautiful natural churn butter. Because I do not have a barrel, we are gonna use this glass. I also do not have the heavy cream that they recommended, um, and I'm not leaving quarantine until I absolutely have to. So we are going to use 2% uh, milk. You're gonna to wanna to pour a bunch of this heavy cream. I bet we could probably add rum chata to this. Take a stick and we're gonna just stick it in there. Okay, good. We're just gonna pump it. The churning butter process normally takes three hours. We're gonna have to do this for three hours because I'm gonna add a little bit more force to it. You're gonna really wanna pump it vigorously. Keep pumping, pumping, pumping. Now what you're gonna see at this point is nothing. All right, you wanna keep doing it. Ooh, it got excited, sorry. Keep doing it, keep doing it. Ooh, there it goes, keep doing it. I think it's starting to churn, keep it up. Keep it up, ooh. You guys are making butter! Look at all this butter! It's gonna look like a softer butter than what you're used to because the butter you use probably has a lot of preservatives in it. You really wanna just keep it moving. And if you do this for another, we've been filming now for I think three minutes. Okay, you're gonna wanna do this for another two hours and 57 minutes to get that true authentic butter. Oh look, we've gotten bubbles, we've gotten a lot of froth and hopefully this froth will build into a curd. In fact, if we do this long enough, maybe we'll get cheese. If you do this for about five days, it'll harden on its own. It'll have a very distinct smell. It's gonna smell like a blue cheese, perhaps something that had died, but it's really, that's how you know it's good. I'm gonna show you what this looks like. Look at this frothy goodness. This is great. This is what you want. We're just gonna taste it. delicious. I'd like to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Cooking with Trixie. I hope you enjoyed it.